This 911 call is from a boy who has just killed his mother and younger sister. After watching several Michael Myers movies, the 17 year old Jake Evans built up the courage to point a gun at his family and kill them. Where is your emergency? Uh, my house. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a uh, 22 revolver. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. Okay, I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I wasn't, it's weird. I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been kind of, uh, planning on, uh, killing for a while now. The, the two of them or just anybody? Pretty much anybody. Number seven. In this call, a pregnant woman by the name of Michelle Wilkin is losing blood after being stabbed multiple times by Dinell Lane, a girl who put up an ad on Craigslist selling free baby clothes. 11911, address of your emergency. 1620, Green Place. 1620 what? Green Place. I can't, I can't understand the street. Green Place. Green Place. Green like the color? Yeah. What's the phone number you're calling me from? Okay, what, tell, tell me what happened. She cut me. Who cut you? Downstairs. I don't know. Okay, I hold on. Hang on. Hold on. Please. I'm downstairs. Okay, who cut you? This girl I responded to was her to look at. She what did she cut me. you with? I'm nice. I'm pregnant. She got me on my stomach. Okay. I'm afraid. She cut you in your stomach? Uh-huh. I'm pregnant. Okay. She's so what is the suspect's name? Number six. This 911 call is revealing the brave actions taken by a 12-year-old boy as two men began breaking into a Scottsdale, Arizona home. They're trying to break down the door right now. They're trying to get in the house right now? Yes, I can hear them. They're like banging on the door, trying to get in. Okay, and is it on just your back door in your backyard? <laughs> Ma'am, is it in your backyard? Yes. Okay, can you see them? Ma'am, can you see them? Yes, I can. Okay. Do you, do you see any weapons? What are they trying? Kicking in the door? I don't know. Okay, ma'am, I need you to speak. I know it's hard, but are they trying to kick in the door or just trying to get the door open? I don't know. Okay, then how do you know I that? I think they might be inside. Do you hear them in the house? Do you hear them in the house? Where do you hear them? What can you hear them? Okay, don't worry, we have officers on the way. Ma'am, does it still sound like they're in the bedroom with you? Sounds like they're in the kitchen. Okay. But it did sound like two of them. Okay. They opened the door and saw you? Okay. Okay. Well, did they leave? No, we Number 5. Saturday, May 31, 2014, after two 12-year-old girls lured another classmate into the woods, they stabbed her 19 times, allegedly in order for them to impress the Slender Man, a fictional character. The victim, after being stabbed, made her way to the road. Luckily, a man riding his bike came across and called 911. The young girl made it, but all thanks to him. One. What's the address of your emergency? Waukesha County, Lynn. I'm transferring over a caller on Big Bend at the dead end just south of Rivera. Okay. Came upon a 12 year old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. Okay. Sir, you still there? Yes. Hi, sir. So, is are you with this 12 year old female? Yeah, she says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Stabbed multiple times? Yes. Okay, sir, are you with her right now? Yes. Is she awake? She's awake. Is she um, breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. She said she can take shallow breaths. 
She's alert. Okay, stay with her. We're sending the police department. Don't hang up, okay? Oh, Hold on okay, just a no. minute. Don't hang up. Okay. Okay. Hold on just a minute, sir. We're sending officers. Okay. Is there any assailant around? Ah, uh, I didn't even look. I don't see anybody. Number four. The Columbine High School massacre occurred on Tuesday, April 20, 1999, at Columbine High School in Colorado, United States. Two students, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, shot and killed 12 students and one teacher. The event injured 21 other students. Many 911 calls were made from inside the school while the massacre was being carried out. The most infamous call was made by teacher Patty Nelson. Jefferson County 911. Yes, I am a teacher at Columbine High School. There is a student here with a gun. He has shot out a window. I believe one of um, um, I've been Columbine High School. I don't know what's in my shoulder. If it was just a rap, you know what. Okay, has anybody been injured, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the school is in a panic, and I'm in the library. I've got students down on the table, kids. Heads under the table. Um, kids are screaming. Some of the teachers um, are, you know, trying to take the holding. We need police here. We need okay. Police. We're getting them there. Who is the student, ma'am? I do not know who the student is. Okay. I saw a student outside. I was in holding. Oh, dear God. Okay. I was on holding. I saw a gun. I said, what's going on out there? And he said, oh, it's probably something else. Because it's probably a joke. I said, well, I don't think that's a good idea. And I went walking outside. I think he was dancing. <laughs> I went walking. Oh, my God. That was really close. That's just incredible. Okay. What's your name, ma'am? Okay. Number three. In this cold, heartless 911 call, Chekinson Sinclair tells the 911 operator that he murdered his wife, who was seven weeks pregnant. On the call, Chekinson says that he shot her because she was coming after him with a knife, but later told the police he killed her out of jealous rage. this call, 14-year-old Florida teen Alex Crane doesn't know what's going on. He says in the call that one minute he was sleeping, and the next he had a gun in his hand and his parents were on the ground. Okay, what is your name? Alex. Alex, what, what's going on? My parents were shot. Your what? My parents were shot. Your parents were shot? Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the line, okay? Alex, how old are you? I'm 14. 14, where are they now? Okay, who shot your parents? I did. You did? Okay, stand in line with me, okay? Okay. Did you send help? Was it an incident? How did this happen, sweetie? I don't know. You don't know? First thing I was sleeping, the next thing I know, I had a gun in my hand. My parents were on the ground. Okay. Is there anyone else in the house with you, sweetie? Number 1. This 911 call was made by Don Spirit. 
He called in telling the operator that he had just killed all of his six grandkids and his 28-year-old daughter. Miguel Chris County 911, what's the address of the emergency? Yes, ma'am, I, I, um, I just shot my daughter and shot all my grandkids, and I'll be sitting on my step, and when you get here, I'm going to shoot myself. What is the address that you're at, sir? 2550 Northwest, 25 Paris, downstairs. They're, they're, every one of them are dead. Hey, you said your name is Don Spirit? Yep. All right, Don, what kind of gun do you have? It doesn't matter what kind of gun I got. They're all dead, and then when you get here, I'll shoot myself, and then you figure out what kind of gun it is. How long did this happen, Don? I, I, I don't want to hear it, man. I'm done with all every fucking thing. Just bring the motherfuckers out here, that's all. You got all the kids are dead in the house. Okay, how many people? Okay, how many people? Six kids, one adult. Six kids and one adult? Yeah. One of them is a baby. Alright, Don, is there any way you can stay on the phone with me until I get somebody there to help you? What's that? Can I ha have you stay on the phone with me? No, I, no, I'm not that. I'm waiting for them to get here. When they get here, I'm going to shoot myself on my back set. All I'm doing is waiting for them.